911, what's the nature of your emergency? Welcome back to the Tactical Living Podcast. I'm your host, Ashley Walton, joined by Sergeant Walton. Clint, how are you? I'm excellent. I was talking to somebody who was discussing with me some independence and boundaries that she learned to create inside of her marriage with a previous first responder. And it made me so proud to hear this because not a lot of people do this, in particular females, when you are married to a first responder. And I think it is so important for us to understand that we need to know who we are independent of our marriages, especially if you've been married for a long time. Yeah, it's being able to have that recognition for yourself and and being able to have that trust with one another to have these boundaries set in place to be able to, you know, like Ashley's gone and and traveled and, and gone to conferences on her own to start building that self-identity for herself to where if I wasn't there, she's able to problem solve and get that stuff done instead of just me planning out everything and deciding which ways we're going or something like that. We're actually doing ourselves an incredible disservice when we don't know how to function outside of our relationship. And what I mean by that is there are things that I had never navigated on my own before, and it made me really uncomfortable to do it for the first time. It actually still does make me very uncomfortable doing it. You know, I'm getting ready to head out to, you know, flying out of state and like being on your own and figuring out where the Uber is even or what markets are around and, and all of these types of things. It's it's a little bit more difficult to do when you have a partner to where that's their quote job, right? In our dynamics, you're, I believe in a very traditional relationship. And so in our very traditional relationship, there are things that I like for you to do, like driving, driving me somewhere when we go somewhere. And, you know, being the having the male responsibilities, the male duties in our relationship, which I 100% have no problem saying, I think that everybody needs to recognize that there are things that we just like a lot better as females versus males. And, you know, yes, there are males and females. So in saying that, I don't do those things on the regular. And so in the entire time we had been married, there were things that I had never done at all in the duration of our marriage, like traveling on my own or, you know, booking a flight, getting a hotel, doing the whole thing by myself. Yeah. And it's being able to have that understanding for yourself to be, make yourself comfortable. So, and this is something that I teach my guys on a regular basis. Like, I think this goes outside of, I mean, in your relationship dynamics, it's important to have that, but this goes in your day-to-day life at work and, and whatever else you're doing too, is if you're not comfortable in doing something, lean into that and, and kind of start taking it, taking it on face first to be able to make those changes and get comfortable with doing it. Like I know a lot of officers, they, they hate taking traffic collisions or they hate taking those sexual assault type calls for service because it's uncomfortable to talk about, or it's uncomfortable or it's a lot of work to do. Well, this is where I say, once you start doing them on a regular basis, they become so easy for you to flow through that you don't have to worry about it in the future. You know, the screening process for this is so easy because if I ask the female of a police officer, for example, who are you? And she responds with something like, oh, I'm a a mother. I have three kids. I'm married to a police officer. Ding, ding, ding. There you go. That, That tells me that there is no distinguishment between you, me, and us. So let's let's kind of break that down for a second. When it comes to the us, that's the, the paradigm of you and I building a life together. Our marriage, our love, our home, our fur baby kids, um, the, the things that we get to experience, our travel, our growth, our investments, our planning for the future, like all of those things, right? That's the us. Yeah. Who, who are you? I... And and that's for me is that's I wasn't ready for this question. <laughs> I'll, I'll go first while while you think yeah. about that. Then, so for me personally, m- my things belong to me. They have nothing to do with you. Mm-hmm. So my things are things like owning my own business, being able to um, create my own schedule. Every single day, I do what I want to do because I because I do own my own business. 
the the things that I do on my schedule, the people that I communicate with. I have hundreds of, literally hundreds of conversations a week, and that has nothing to do with you. You don't know who those people are. You, you have... You're not privy to those conversations because a majority of the time, those are confidential conversations that I'm having. I have contracts that I create constantly. I have other projects that people invite me to be able to collaborate with them on. I have uh, this content we're creating right now. This is you and I are doing this together. But the actual creation of of this, you had you are never um never involved in the process of that. And that's not because you couldn't be, you, you definitely could be, but it's just, that's mine. Th- those are my things. And everything that I do in my work life, all of my, I have tons of relationships that are friendships that are outside of you, people you know, people you don't know, conversations that I have with friends like that, that has nothing to do with you. Me getting and going to, uh, I, you know, flying out of state next month, like doing a, a business trip, learning about something new. That's that's mine. That's me. That has nothing to do with you. Did, did I mention anything about being a police officer there? Like you being a police officer? No. No, no, I didn't. No. Your turn. So I am... I'm a police sergeant and, and that because that is that is something that does define me. And, you know, I'm also a loving husband and, and help help to build our our homestead and, and loving our life within that. I'm the pack chair for our political uh, police officers association. I'm in charge of the mounted unit. I'm a son. I'm a father to our fur babies and and not. And our feathered babies, I guess. <laughs> but and, but I'm a loving, compassionate person who will always do anything and everything he can for others, but not always sacrificing myself for that. Yeah. And, you know, we recently had a discussion around other things that, you know, I try to push you, I think, a little bit more um, for to learn who you are. And a recent example of that is an upcoming fishing trip that I, I really don't have time to do, period. I, I just don't. And so I asked you, like, why don't you just go on your, your own? Like, do it by yourself. Mm-hmm. Because in my defense on that one is because we don't catch fish when Ashley doesn't go. So. <laughs> but the, the point here is that the, the you is doing things like that. Like, you know, we have a patrol horse, but uh, the whole cowboy lifestyle, like you get to go and you get to do trainings and you get to ride. And sometimes you get to travel with the horse and, you know, do things like that. That's that's yours. That's not me. You've recently gotten to do a lot of things that are political that, you know, I'm, I am usually not invited to i'm usually not privy to be able to be a part of that's that's your thing you know and so there are the whole point here is there's a there's an us there's a a me and then there's a you and it's like that in the dynamics of every single relationship and i'm actually glad that you had a little bit of a difficult time in being able to um kind of kind of explain the who you are in the marriage because that's the exact point that i'm trying to make yeah and and it is difficult because it's one of those things you don't think about on a regular basis of who who I am as an individual and being able to articulate that like we look at ourselves as I am and the easy answer is I'm a husband I'm you know the dad to our fur babies I'm I'm our our, I'm I'm this support beacon of the male version inside the house and and that's what I do and we're formulating everything on on this relationship of this marriage between one another because to me it is an important factor but it's not everything it is one of those steps in in that identification of who i am as myself but it's just one one of um of multiple things that's a perfect segue because the way that i wanted to wrap this up is talking about balancing independence and togetherness and i think that it becomes very difficult to be able to have either one of those exist if you don't understand the distinction between them. And that's why I I felt it was so important to have this conversation because there is no balance necessary if you don't believe that there's two things to balance, right? Yeah. And so when it comes to you and I, I think that we've created a very healthy balance when it comes to being able to have our individual identity and our relationship. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's something that we've been able to make a roadmap for one another on this for ourselves and then and then with that each of us having our roadmaps they intertwine on a regular basis and this is not going to be the same for everybody so when it comes to actually being able to do this i think that respecting one another's independence while also nurturing the connection that we share is really the way to go about this and for us 
you know, the way that the dynamics of our relationship works, there are many times where you would never have to push me to go um, find my independence and to build on that. It's the opposite. I, yeah. I push you to find those things for yourself and to discover who you are as, you know, as Clint. And so for, for some people, it might be the opposite. For some people, you know, the two might have to push one another out in order to be able to do that. And so that's something that I think is important just to be able to understand. But then we cultivate the, the togetherness, you and I together, in a, a very smooth transition. So it's not like this, okay, today, Monday through Friday from X time to X time, it's going to be you and it's going to be me and then on saturday and sunday it's going to be us like it's it's not like that right this is something that just ebbs and flows naturally and a lot of that will have to depend on what's going on on our schedules yeah it's it's having a balance with everything and and it's it's not a written rule it's one of those it's an understanding amongst you each other to be able to have that balance with it yeah i hope you've gotten some value out of today's episode if you have do us a favor drop a review subscribe down below and as always Know that I'm sending you a long, tight hug from my home to yours.